So, my name is Juan Corona. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, British Columbia. Um, I work for a company called Evident Point Software. Uh, we specialize in digital reading solutions, and that does include providing an annotation experience. It's it, with the same vision, the same goals of uh, adding this layer on top of whatever kind of publishing content, uh, rich media, textbooks. So we, we, we like textbooks and we wanna have uh, students engage with the textbook and annotations provides that in a very rich way. Um, having student to student interactions. And we see a lot of that uh, but not, you know, in the general way, not just students, not just textbooks, make that, replace that with, you know, images, video, replace students with anybody. We wanted to do some sort of collaboration. So there just needed to be some sort of spark that would bring uh, what we do um, over to uh, the wider annotating community because we, we were we were siloed off on our own world we were doing annotations our own way and then we found out that there's there's others out there that are doing the same thing why not we why don't we join that community and that's what that's what I annotate is for me everyone coming together I really like the unconferencing model um, I really like that. Uh, it's not just a conference where I go and see people talk all day and I get bored and disinterested. I like that it's very interactive. Uh, um, that everyone has to participate in some way. And if you don't want to participate, then you're missing out. So I led a workshop about um, using hypothesis, the current existing implementation the thing that everyone interacts with, the client, and being able to provide a little bit of personalization, customizability, and embedding that on a publication. And uh, being able to configure it, mold it in whatever way that could provide your visitors to your website, blog, uh, ad hoc publishing, book, blog, um, and being able to say, hey, there is this way of interacting with my publication and here's what I think is the best way to provide that experience. I want to be able to have that in my own user interface. I want to make it fit with the branding of my publication or just provide a seamless experience. Yeah, I'm walking away with seeing um, seeing more progress being made in this um, in implementing the technology. So when uh, the when the demos were being showcased around the conference, I saw a lot of people still using uh, the like the annotator JS project, using that as a as a block, a building block for some of what they wanted to do. And I, I didn't want to just come in and see all the demos being particularly tied to Hypothesis as a tool. I wanted to see other people work on other things that implement this annotation uh, layer. And I saw that. I saw, I saw a lot of that more this year. For me, um, I like to see some progress towards standardization and creating an open platform. So then everyone could share the same tools. Everyone could use what their personal preference are with those tools. And there's not everyone's in a closed system. So I would love to see my browser with my tool going to whatever website I want, whatever publication, and me being able to provide 
you know, my voice on this layer and not just being tied to a specific application to do that. Having that as an open source effort really intrigues me. Um, and also kind of fits with the, the mandate of the company I work for. Uh, we create, you know, software that's licensed, but licensed as a package, but the, but the building blocks for the, that package, I would like to see everyone with the know-how being able to take this and being, be, being able to build their own uh, thing out of it. I'm really excited to be a part of the standardization process at the technical implementation level. So I want to let the very smart people thinking about how to standardize this come up with something and me being able to contribute back with my more practical development skills. So I'm a front-end web developer, and that part of that job is uh, dealing with providing this user experience. The user facing the to the buttons they click, that kind of stuff. So that that um, hypothesis already has that as uh, has nailed has that nailed down for some particular users. Um, that's what in that's what I want to see, but I want to see. Um, that experience uh, without too much effort being um, for anyone who is not technical or slightly technical or has someone who they can partner up with that is more technical I want them to be able to use hypothesis as a somewhat of a software development kit or like you know this is uh, this is a service there uh, annotations as a service but I would also like to see more of the lower level building blocks to create this. So if we have a standard model for all of that, all the data passing through is the same, I could use an alternative tool connecting to the same service. And I want to be able to provide at the technical level, oh, these cards that show up, um, here's a component for that and here's a list on how to this is how you get a simple list of all the annotations that are tied to your specific website um, here you can have it as a as a widget um, and then you can add all these other things on top of that to provide uh, a more native annotation experience that once again goes back to it being customized to fit your use case, your, your users. Um, because I think that a browser, if they implement this, it'd be, it wouldn't fit everyone's needs. There's no one size fits all. I'm hoping to send a signal and the message out there that you can tweak this to fit your particular use case. Maybe you can add a little bit of JavaScript do something that's completely out of the box. Um, maybe you want your users to have the sidebar completely hidden to being able to opt in to the user experience only when you want to. So maybe by default you see no, no highlights. But when you click this button on my website that says show comments, then everything springs to life. I'd love to come back next year. I think that this uh, uh, the more of this needs to happen. I and around the world too, because I was talking with someone, and they were saying that they came to I annotate because they couldn't really find anywhere else to go for going, you know. For, for finding this type of community.